I thought I might do this video a little bit differently today and do a bit of a blog. As I guess you can guess by the title, this video is about me getting Botoxed. The reason why I'm going to be getting Botoxed is because normally I would wait a little bit longer to my Botox actually begins to fail and um, it actually hasn't started to fail yet. So it's a lot safer for your bladder when you do wait till it starts to fail and then you can go because and get a dump because it's like serious medical intervention and you kind of don't want to do it unnecessarily. We got a call from the hospital saying a lot of the elective surgeries, they're closing that down because of COVID. Minimise people going to the hospital and getting surgery, which I think is fair enough. So they classified me as a critical case to have this electric, elective surgery. And I don't know how to take that. Like, anyway, critical case. Thanks. So I, yeah, I'm going in. I think the reason why they put me as a critical case, a month ago, I had kind of allergic reaction um, and that was long story short to do with my bladder and I took a medication to help. It was, it was an antibiotic to help. I've been taking antibiotic biotic for uh, like, I've taken it several times and I've had no problem, but all of a sudden I have reacted to it. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'd take you along for the ride. I do have to go and get a COVID test done because of course they don't want me to have COVID. So I'm going to have to go do that, then quarantine for the weekend and then go on to surgery on Tuesday. So. We'll see how that goes. The reason that I get my bladder Botoxed is because of my spinal injury. It causes my bladder to spasm. And taking the Botox, it helps relax my muscles, which stops the spasming. So Botox is one of the ways that we've found that, I guess it stops, it's, it, practically paralyzes my bladder so it stops me leak which is good but like i'm already paralyzed and i'm making myself more paralyzed so it's it's not like a really good thing to take lightly you've got to like think of it as quite a big part of medical intervention before you go and just get so talks. yesterday i went and got my covid test done and that was all fine I guess like it's not the most comfortable thing but at the end of the day like it's okay no big deal um so when I did that and the plan is right now for me to jump in my race chair um and I might do a little bit of exercise because I probably won't have the opportunity to do that after the surgery for a couple days because it's probably not a good idea to do that after the surgery so that is the plan and I'm going to go do that now.
is currently about 5.30 in the morning. I've got to be really quiet because my sister's still asleep. But um, I've just gotten ready and I've packed a bag with like just all the necessary stuff. Um, I'm taking my iPad, pre-download some Netflix, grab the books, some snacks, pills, all that stuff. And I am ready to go, I guess. I discovered I had some extra time, so I decided to do some exercises to fill it in. This is meanwhile listening to my current audiobook, The Book Thief. Four cigarettes in a disfigured little ashtray, and the roofless ceiling is hot plate red. Himmel Street is burned. Motilium, back hook and five quinoa. Motilium isn't like a penlate, you told me. No, no Motilium is Domperidone. And it's an impressive list. Yeah, a lot of pills. Well, this has some medications eight times a day. It's a little complicated. It's an understatement. Because since we've done that, I've like felt so much better with yeah, myself. Side effects of plummeting. Yeah. Well, we had no idea. I had no yeah. idea. So, okay. Oh, never mind. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, never mind. So I'm currently just waiting, and they've gone over all the regular stuff. Um, there's like been so many things that we yeah. had to tick box because um, with COVID we've had to go like over all the COVID things like five times whether I've been overseas or been in contact with COVID patients so that's been like so annoying but anyway so we're just waiting now um it could be like another hour or two currently it is nine o'clock and we're still waiting it's only like been two hours so it's, it's not that bad but it would be nice to just get them, this thing over and done with. Um, currently my leg is spasming, so it's a bit annoying, so I might try and stop that. Um, I'm hungry. Ah, uh, the nurse has just got me to put my gown on, so I reckon that probably means that I have to go in a minute. So, fingers crossed, it won't be long. I wonder how long it actually takes for you to wake up. So I just went outside to move the car. It's, it's well, it's six like six degrees, it says, but it feels like minus one. And I thought, yeah, it does feel like minus yeah, one. Yeah, it does. It really does. Well, the whole room was like yeah, set at cool. 22. The hospital is constantly set at 22 degrees. Mm. So it's like nice t shirt yeah. weather in here. Mm. There's one surgery running at the moment. Um, we've got two lots running. We've got two at the moment. We have four yesterday. Oh. Up to four. Is you that common? Honor, or? You have to honour all the children that have already been accepted onto mm. the list. So you can say don't do surgery, mm. but they're already on the list. So, so normally, how many would you have running? Four. You normally have four. Okay. Yeah. back at home now I'm just like still feeling sick and sore but regardless I'm good the whole thing took about six hours um but most of it was like just waiting time the actual procedure took like half, 
20 minutes off now, so it was actually pretty quick. And then an hour recovery, and then back home. So it's not too bad considering I am in bed. And I have made myself a resource drink up because I feel like I haven't eaten for a while or drunk. So it's in here. I mixed it with water because it tastes gross. Otherwise, I have just had my lunch delivered. So I've got my veggie soup in there and my pie, which is like in there, um, which I'm really looking forward to eating. Um, and again, thanks for watching this video. Um, means a lot to me and please do stick around for more videos like this.